she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker. So try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, so here she is, the UFC strawweight champion, and of course, China's first UFC champion, Xiong Wei Li. And she is so affable outside the octagon. She is anything but when that octagon door closes. Power in both hands. She's got the chin that allows her to manage risk and put herself in harm's way. She is a fighter's fighter, but also a fan-friendly fighter, and just a great ambassador for mixed martial arts in China. To keep it going, though, she's got to defend the title here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. You ready? All right, so round one is underway. It's going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out. She wanted to test herself against one of the best strikers in this division, but that would not appear to be the path of least resistance. She believes that her full mixed martial arts game is what's going to allow her to win this fight. It's a close fight, though, because she's never seen anyone with the striking ability of her opponent. Pop your jab out there. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Nice, great shot, great shot. A swing and a miss by Jean. Oh, nice job by her to land the straight punch yet again. You know she's got the reach advantage, and she is making sure it counts in this matchup tonight. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands through the middle. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the ground. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well versed as her opponent. So both girls landed right out of the shoot. Well, she missed with that right hand. Nice head kick. Nice body kick right into the elbow. Wow. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Fantastic. And potentially takedown. a critical takedown here. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Chong's looking for that arm triangle now. up there now we'll see if she can maintain that separation she has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now but look for her big ground upon Chong's back in half goal how good is her movement here on the ground right shades of Ray Bohr just transitioning so beautiful yeah she's so good at transitions and movement her ability is unmatched 
Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Big kick land. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Great punch. Back and forth we go here. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going again. Do it again. All right, so she attempts the takedown here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. He's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go upper body, try to engage in the clinch, try to mix it up if you're going to get these takedowns. Nice kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, she's really using her reach advantage to great effect here tonight. Lands the punch. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown do? What a body kick. Round two next. All right, that's the end of the round. Cut on the nose from that round. Not the biggest cut you've ever seen, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity for her here moving forward. The cut man is in there. He'll try to close it up here quickly. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Oh! Yes. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Chief. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Big punch lands. Ooh. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Yes. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. John going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Two minutes now to go. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Sean Whaley. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. You can't take any of those, you better check. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Right hand punch from the clinch. Pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Taken down by Jean Whaley. All right, she's got north-south position now on top. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. with the punch. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank in that ground upon. Money in the bank. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent saw kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the team home that she is the better fighter. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Beautiful strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Sean. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? And she misses with the left punch there. What a punch. a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. Beautiful level change. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and 
Here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Chong's back in half court. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Chong's looking for that arm triangle. her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Ooh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Zhang Wei Li. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Jones has got full mount now. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. No, 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 no. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding. She's unable to get it tight enough, though. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at all costs. But she got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. Nice leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. Chong's kick to the body, that one blocked. <laughs> Great punch landed with so much power. There's no tell on that leg kick. She's going back to that patented straight. Oh, and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh, that hook landed for her. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and slamming, your opponent's blood and takedown. There's the single. 
Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Effective punch there by Jean. So there she goes, once again, the fighter with a longer reach, continuing with that counter jab upstairs. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, now she's got that tie clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Straight right hand, but she misses. Beautiful punch. Sean gets touched by that kick to the body. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Well, in the men's game or in the women's game, the execution on a double leg takedown doesn't get a whole lot better than that. It does not get much better than what we just saw. Her confidence in finishing the shot is unmatched. Trying for a submission now. In attack and armbar. Oh man, that was slick. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Zhang Weili. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Zhang. Oh, nice strike on the ground for it. Nice stick with the right hand. Wayley, ground and pound from half guard now. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Go fight. Beautiful kick. How is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Visibly limping here. Big head kick land. Punch over the top. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Zhang's strike attempt there is blocked. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Just missed with the left there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. All right, here we go as the next round gets underway, and you can see the visible damage on both sides after all of the effective body work there in the previous round. You can see it, the redness, the, the, the tenderizing of the ribs. Yeah. Soon, her opponent will start to drop her hands to protect her body, look for her to follow up with something over the top, hoping to end the night. Let's 
Nice punch by Zhang Wei Li. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Well, looks like there could be an opening here for an uppercut, and there it is, and she... I'm sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Swing and a miss with that punch by Jean. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Nice punch, man, over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big head kick! It's oh, nice high kick. That one landed clean. <laughs> Able to work it into a takedown there. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half Chong's looking for an arm bar here. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big brown opponents. That's a big strike right there. Sean's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. All right, less than a minute to go in round five. with the ground and pound. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Back to the feet now. Just misses there with the left leg. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. 
she should win a pretty clear decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Wayley Mendoza. Right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening form tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the 